Hello there my friends and welcome back to my channel. It is your resident ghoul gal Hannah I'm back again with another ghost reactions video. You guys have shown so much love on my last video. As of me filming this video today, my video has reached almost 200 views from my last one and honestly I'm just so thankful. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot and it seems like you guys really like them. I really enjoy doing them so I'm giving y'all another one. If you guys enjoy my reaction videos on my channel, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. And also, if you'd like to see more of these, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of 2021. We're almost at 50 subscribers, so we're almost halfway there, and that's crazy. Like, I haven't really been doing YouTube consistently for very long, but I'm already almost at the halfway point of my subscriber goal for the year and that's just super exciting so now with all that being said let's get into the reaction all right guys i've got my coffee ready to go this is just a rewarmed up pumpkin spice latte because i am that basic bitch when it comes to the fall time i do like me a pumpkin spice latte and this i didn't finish it yesterday so i rewarmed it up and i'm finishing it today but for today's video that we're going to be reacting to, it's another one of Nuke's top 5 videos, but this is an older video. This is his 5 Twitch streamers who caught ghosts on stream. So let's get into it. Let's hope that there's some pretty scary ghosts that were caught while people were streaming. top five twitch streamers who caught ghosts on stream oh my god that's so funny his voice is so different that's so cute weird things can happen when you're streaming live and sometimes those things don't have an obvious explanation now either these twitch streamers caught real paranormal experiences on camera or the videos oh were simply elaborate live fakes i leave that for you to <laughs> decide I've included links to the full original videos in the description if you'd like to take a closer look. Ripped Robbie. Hey, number five. One night Twitch streamer Ripped Robbie tries to start up his stream, but can't quite get things going. First he begins to hear strange banging and creaking noises around the apartment. Hatred, like pure hatred against me, that there's love and then there's just the weird ass comments telling me to fuck. Yeah, I swear to god my house is haunted. I could you guys had to have heard that on fucking stream. <laughs> Dude, dude, stop, stop, stop. Did you fucking hear that, Anon? Yeah, it was like a thump, right? Bruh. No, I swear to God, Anon, like, no joke, like, I really did just hear something behind me. Yeah, I heard not. See, Games Pro, he fucking heard that shit, dude. Hmm. So go check your closet. I'm more... Dude, if you, like, got killed on. I guess it kind of works that since he's on, like, a live stream, basically, um, like, you, people can kind of see that he's not it doesn't look like he's knocking anything you know what i mean like it would be really hard unless he has like people behind like doors and stuff making noises which i guess we'll see you know and we'll talk about it once we watch the whole thing but since he's live i feel like that kind of cooperates him having weird stuff happen to him because he has a lot of witnesses that'll be awesome no fuck off the noises even freak out his dog who goes and hides in another room Fuck my dog, he's in my room. All right. I go out there and I hear something by the washing machine and I think it's just the, you there, Anon? Bro, stop, because I, I just came in here because I heard a fucking bang on the wall. Robbie then begins to lose he's connection to a friend out. he's talking to on Skype and his Xbox refuses to connect. Or one more fucking freaky ass. Bro, stop. Hello? Stop! Dude, what the fuck is happening? Robbie becomes so rattled that even the sound of a stream donation almost makes him jump out of his skin. But it wasn't like a knock, it was more of like a creaking, but it was a loud creak. Like it was like like someone stepped on a wood floor and like rip, 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 rip. Oh fuck you! Oh my god! Okay, that's terrible. That is a <laughs> That is such terrible timing because it sounded like Straight up, like, it was a loud-ass noise out of nowhere. Like a, oh my god, that was bad timing for him. 
Poor guy. That would have gotten me too, though. The fucking nice stream, me. man. Nice stream, man. Yeah. Finally, Robbie's mic and a camera stand topple over as if they were pushed by someone. Or something. And that oh, fucking no. creepy ass movie, bro. Oh my fucking god! Um. Bruh. Everything just fucking fell. My camera stand. My fucking mic. What the? Robbie decides that he's had enough and ends his Twitch stream for the night. Bro, I don't want to be in this house. Like, I really don't want to. I don't, I don't want to be in this fucking house. I don't want to fucking be in his house, dude. Manga man. Dude, the, the people in his comments were, like, not helpful at all. They were just like, oh, wow, that's crazy. What happened? But... I don't know. I mean, stuff that that was pretty freaky. If if I was in his position, I would probably be freaking out too, like cuz it's always said that ghosts and paranormal activity can affect technology and stuff like that. So, um that on top of all the bangs and knocks that he's hearing and then all of a sudden his stuff topples over, like that would definitely freak me out too, but Okay, that was a good number five. Not too scary, nothing too crazy. I was really, like, waiting to see something move behind him. So hopefully some of these other guys catch something like that. Manga Man is a YouTuber who does live streams giving his unfiltered opinion on everything from manga to movies and TV shows like The Walking Dead. Okay. Now this quote, paranormal event, seems like it could just be an equipment glitch. But Manga Men's freaked out reaction still makes it a very entertaining clip. Oh. He never had that problem. Got beat up once or twice, but other than that, he never... Yo, what the hell was that? Yo, what the fuck was that? <gasps> Did y'all see that shit? Oh, wow. That was a damn light. Maybe my screen was messed up. Shit kind of scaring me, man. I'm kind of scared. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck? I seen a white circle disappear. I'm hoping it was just a screen. And when I looked over here to see if it was on the wall, I didn't see it on the wall. But when I looked back, it wasn't there. Like, this is a goddamn uh, horror movie. Somebody's like, I'm getting ready to get killed by something right now. But uh, trust me, it can be explained. Something happened. I think it might have been the screen that was messed up. It was something there. But anyway, let's keep moving before I scare the shit out of myself. Say what? Okay, well, that one, as Nick pointed out, that could just be a technology error. However, paranormal investigators all the time always talk about, like, orbs showing up in photos and videos and stuff. See, and also the- okay, so watching it a second time, I feel like it definitely is more of a technology thing because I would say it's like a paranormal orb if- like I've seen some where it looks like a mist like orb moving into frame and then moving out. This kind of just pops up and then goes away. You know, like it doesn't come into frame, stay there and then go away. It just pops up and then goes away. So because of that, I feel like it's most likely just a tech issue. Just like he, like the guy who's streaming and nuke said, so. Say What TV was settling in for a stream of a scary let's play of Five Nights at Freddy's Joy of Creation. Okay, pause. One of the, so I don't know if any of y'all used to watch uh, Dan is Not on Fire and Amazing Phil back in the day on YouTube, but they used to have a game, or I mean, they still technically have a gaming channel, but they haven't uploaded on there in forever. Um, they had a gaming channel where they would play uh, different games and specifically around Halloween time, they would play scary games and I would love watching them play Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, they played, oh my God, what's that? See, I'm not a horror movie or horror game like junkie or anything <clears throat> or anything like that. So I'm really bad with remembering the names. Um, I think until dawn i think was one of them i could be wrong i don't know i'll pop it up on the screen if i can 
figure it out. But I used to love watching them play because they're just so funny. And I love watching like funny people play these games because they have the best reactions. But moving on. The video Say What TV can be seen continuously looking down in the beginning of the video. He later said that one of his shoes on the floor seemed to be occasionally moving or jerking on its own. He also says his screen began to flicker as he tried to play. Then the game suddenly completely locks up and this happens. The fuck? The lights just ran out and my stream stopped. Oh, bitch. Okay. Oh, hell no. <laughs> nope. He's too calm. I think his reaction is the one a lot of us might have in this situation. No. Okay. I would have been freaking the fuck out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Him slowly backing away. Nah, dude. If you're playing like a horror game and then all of a sudden the lights around you just turn off. I'm out. I'm screaming and I'm running out because that would, because I, I don't do well. I've talked about this before on my channel. I don't like horror movies and horror games and any of that because I am a scared little bitch when it comes to those things. So if for whatever reason I was playing a horror game and then the lights in my, after I was seeing my shoe move and then the lights turn off, Girl, I'm gone. I am KO gone. So he he was brave for that. He had like a very relaxed reaction to that for whatever reason. Sir Gary Tube. Sir Gary Tube was streaming some Pokemon on Twitch late one night when his bedroom door suddenly closes on its own. <gasps> Granted, I did drop my phone on it and my phone. Um, oh. did anybody else fucking see that? Big. Gary goes to check if anyone else is in the apartment, but while he's gone, the door closes on its own again. After looking around the room for any other explanation, Gary decides to just leave the door shut. Hey, we'll just leave this fucking door closed. Rub Z. Bro! His door straight up closed. Now, I know a lot of people, specifically with the door closing thing, like, skeptics are always like, oh, what if there was just a string attached? My only thing is, is unless there it was actually somebody in the apartment, he's not moving a string unless he's, like, being super subtle and pulling the string with his toe or something. And, like, how would you move it? Because the door closes away from him you know what i mean so like he can't pull it closed he would have to push it closed and how is he going to do that when he's sitting there and obviously like didn't even notice that it closed until he heard it close so i mean unless like i said unless there's somebody in the apartment actually that and he was just playing a joke on all of us but i'm gonna believe him i won't be like that and then when he's gone it closes again bitch that one, obviously, he could have done because he was out there, but... Now, all the right. most controversial Twitch stream paranormal video of all time is from a Twitch streamer named Rubsy. So the story goes that Rubsy was streaming from an apartment of a friend when basically all hell breaks loose. Doors are slamming, lights are turning on and off by themselves, and things are flying around the room. Just watch a few highlights from the stream. But, uh... Yeah, that was the tragic story of my, uh, <laughs> my bringing down of my, my, my dearest Lydia. Oh, sweet, sweet Lydia. Uh, oh my! Dude. The fuck was that? Dude. Yo, that is terrifying. Um, <gasps> and they turned on again. Alrighty. 
I don't think you even noticed that it turned back Dude, on. The light, you just turned it off and it went back on. Absolutely not. Well, the switch is still down. <laughs> I'm not even fucking with you. This, hold on. He said the switch is still down. Oh, I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I see what he means when he says the switch is down. So I didn't notice it the first time, like when he went, um, and turn turn the light off. The switch is outside the door where he is. It's not in the room. And I know some light switches are like that. So he can see the fucking light switch and is like, yo, it's still down. Like, it's not flipped. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> He's just like, I don't fucking know. <gasps> Big. Oh, hell yo, what's no. Up, chill zone? <laughs> oh, hell hey, no. What's up, Pokey Cat? <laughs> Hi! What is happening in your freaking house? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I'm sleeping now. This is incredible. What the fuck? This is in my friend's <laughs> apartment. I'm, the, I'm like on the low-key watching the door right now. Say, like I'm, I'm waiting like for something. Guys, it's not like we needed any sleep for me. Oh my god, what the fuck? What did he do it again? What happened? I heard the sound, but what I can't see is? it yet. <laughs> The box, bro. Rosie, what happened? Hold on. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh, well. He's touching the door. I hope to God he is. He We're just about to find out in a few seconds. No, no, okay. We'll see, but the light is what on in the, the room. What the fuck? Even the cat, named Elvis, is hiding under a table. For that house Elvis right now, is fucking please. hiding right now. Elvis, no bullshit, is fucking hiding behind a fucking. Hold on. Elvis, what the fuck are you doing? Look at him. He's fucking hiding. Look at that shit. He's fucking hiding behind the fucking thing. Bro. Enlarge the screen. Yeah. Got a fucking. Fuck the game at this point. Yeah, hold on. Uh, Give me a second. No, God, I like how he doesn't even like, like give a shit about this need to look right anymore because it just keeps happening. I just did it again. There's oh, Elvis money in the fucking corner again. These strange events continued for over two hours. Eventually, Rubsy cuts the stream short and just decides to leave the apartment. You know, fuck it, I'm leaving. Okay, that's it. Dude. Okay, now, obviously, because of the positioning of the video, like, since it's him streaming and he's sitting on the couch and the couch is covering, like, the bottom half of the doors, you can't see if there's actually someone, like, laying or crouching down on the floor doing whatever, and he never takes the camera into the door rooms to show that there's no one in there so yes you can argue that there it's fake and that there could be people there helping him you know string attached to the amazon box blah 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 oh my god one comment actually pointed out he literally left poor elvis alone in the apartment but like i don't know if elvis is his cat or if it's the friend whose apartment he was staying at's cat but I would have taken the cat with me, but the, you know. I will say the one thing that makes me kind of hesitant and think it might possibly be fake more than anything is when the door was like shaking because it just looks like when your friend is trying to fuck with you and they're pulling on the door, like, I don't know. I don't know, but I, he really had me. He really had, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm kind of more on the believing him side but except for that one door i don't know i don't know i'm gonna leave the last one as inconclusive i really don't know what i think about it like it was scary that's for sure and if this is fake it was very well played because he did it on a stream made sure that no one could like see the friends and when he called his friends 
on the stream they were obviously either in on it or completely not in on it and they were just adding to his credibility i don't know i don't know guys i don't know but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did like it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to let me know in the comments below and also suggest any specific videos that you would like me to react to and also like i said earlier make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads other than that i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys